hello viewers welcome back to another section of my youtube channel tutorial in this video i'm going to take you through bridge circuits in Norton theorem how we solve Norton theorem on bridge circuit so i have a nice problem here for us to tackle so you see find the current in the 10 ohm resistor in the circuit shown below using Norton's theorem so let me add using Norton's theorem so how do we solve this problem we need to find the current through this 10 ohm resistor using the Norton's theorem and this is a bridge circuit so the first step in Norton's circuit if you remember what you have to do you need to remove this resistor here and replace it with the Norton's current which is a short circuit current so I have my 2 ohm then I have this part this will come to the 6 ohm then in the center I'll have a short circuit current called IN so IN then I have my 4 ohm then my 8 ohm like this so this is a 10 volts 12 ohms 2 ohm 4 ohm 8 ohms and 6 ohm so this is what i have and the goal is to find i n find what i n that is the northern's current so how do i find the northern's current from our circuit here to find the northern's current it will be advisable to know the current in this branch and in this band, let's see, this is a node, right? Applying the KCL, the current is arriving here because total current will produce here, it will pass here and some will pass here. So if I take this joint, the current reaching this joint here was placed into the IN as well as the current passing through the 4 ohm. For that reason, I'm going to have the current here splitting into this and this so i'm going to find the current in the 2 ohm the current in the 4 ohm and i can easily find the current in the hot i n or this short circuit called the northern's current so to start with what i'm saying i'm to find the total current in the circuit and that is it it is always equal to vt over rt right total voltage over the total resistance in the question how about total voltage to be 10 volts but you don't know the total resistance so we need to find the total resistance of this circuit and how do you find the total resistance we can clearly see that this 2 ohm and the 6 ohm resistor here are in parallel likewise 4 ohm here and the 8 ohm are in parallel because when you traverse through them we don't meet any other resistor and there is a node here so for that reason the two are parallel the two are parallel and the two the parallel connections will be in series together so the 12 ohm so let's see our rt simply equal to two parallel with what six plus four parallel with eight and plus this 12 is 2 times 6 over 2 plus 6 plus 4 times 8 over 4 plus 8 then plus 12 so this is what I'm going to find so if you have 2 6 12 12 on 8 plus 32 and 12 10 plus 12. So what am I getting? 12 on 8 plus 32 on 12 plus 12. And that is giving me 97 on 6 ohm. So this is the total resistance of the circuit. To find the total current, I have 10 over this. So IT is equal to 10 on 97 on 6. This will give me 60 
um, 97 amperes. So let's see, 60 or 97 amperes is being produced here. So 60 or 97. And upon reaching here, it will split into these two. So now, we need to find the current in this 2 ohm as well as in the 6 ohm by current division. To find the current in the 2 ohm, that is what I'm interested in because I'm using this node to find my I n. It's simply what 6 over 2 plus 6 times the total current. So my current in the 2 ohm is 6 over 6 plus 2 times my I t that is 60 over 97. So 6 over 6 plus 2 times 60 over 97. That is giving me 45 over 97 amperes. Now I want to find the current in these 4 ohms so that I can find my I ohm. So to find the current in the 4 ohm, you know that the current coming here is the total current which is equal to 60 or 97 amperes. So how do I do that too? So to find the current in the 4 is simply 8 on 8 plus 4 and the total current. So I 4 ohm 8 over 8 plus 4 times the total current 60 or 97. So let's solve this and see. So 8 plus 4 8 and that is giving me 40 over 97 amperes. So by this here, you know that the current coming from this side is equal to I n plus the current here. So I 2 ohm is equal to I n plus what I 4 ohm. To find I n is simply I 2 n 2 ohm minus I 4 ohm. And that is going to give me 45 on 97 minus 40 on 97 right so what is that so you just subtract the numerator so that's giving us 4 5 on 97 amperes is our i n we are almost done so 5 on 97 so once you have this our i n which is 0 0.052 amperes you put it down. The next thing to find is our Rn. How do you find Rn? You can find Rn by removing the resistor, removing the In and replacing it with Rn. So see, this is the 2, this is the 6. Here will be an open circuit and it is Rn, a circuit continuous. But in this, we don't consider any source here because every source will be deactivated. A voltage source will be short circuited and a current source will be open circuited. So here I have my 12 ohms, my 4, 8 ohm, then I have 2 ohm, 6 ohm, then my R. To find R in it is a bridge circuit, so you need to label here A, B, C, D so that things will be easier. Once you have this ABCD, you can go ahead and expand it because once you find a resistor, resistance within this, so you have to open it wide so that you get from A. So let's say at the terminal, I have A at the terminal. So from A, it will branch to give B. And on that branch, I have two ohm here. And you make here your B from B, and you know C is what another branch, another terminal. So to move to C, and this is 66. So my C, 6 ohm. Then now from C to D, so C to D, here will be my D is what. D to D is 8 ohm, then D to A, from D to A is 4, that is 4 ohm, then finally B to D, from B here 
to d is equal to this 12 ohm and this is now our open network which we are going to tackle right so from here let's make it bigger so that we can apply our delta star to this so So here is my 12, sorry, 6. six ohm, 8 ohm, my C, my 2 ohm, my 4 ohm, then my 12 ohm. So here is my A. So now let's see. This is a delta star. I have to convert it to what? Star. So I'll place one resistor in between these two and four. I'll place another one here. And finally I'll place another one here. I'll make it A, I'll make it B, I'll make it C. Let me find A, B, and C. To find A, it is going to be hot. 2 times 4 over hot. 2 plus 4 plus hot. 12, right. 2 times 4. So that is how you convert delta to star so and that is a value for a so this is going to give me 4 over 9 ohm that is a over what 2 plus 4 is 8 8 plus 12 is what 20 so 8 over 20 is what so let me add it again 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 4 is 18 so i'm going to have 8 on 18 that is what to go here for 419. Let me find my B. My B is going to be 12 times 12. In between this over 2 plus 4 plus 4. That is what 24 over what 18. And I'm going to get 4 on 3 ohm. And finally my C that is 4 and 12. 4 times 12 over 2 plus 4 plus 12 and that is giving me 8 on 3 ohm so once i get this i need to retro my circuit taking this alone so a b and c so c i'm going to get this a b then c then this for them continue with what this and this my c this will continue to this like this so here is A and this is C. And you know that my A was 4 on 9. So here is 4 on 9 ohm. My B here is what? And this is C. 4 on 3. And this is C. C is 8 on what? 3 ohm. Then finally, this side was what? 6 and this side is 8. So 6 ohm, then 8 ohm. Once I get this, this is in series with this, this is in series. So I still simplify my 4 on 9 ohm. Then now I move to this side. This is series connection of this. So 4 on 3 plus 6. And that is 22 on 3. To move to C. Then when I come down to 8 on 3 plus 8 and that will be 32 on 3 so 32 on 3 now you can see that this is my A this and this are in parallel so the parallel connection let's see what you are going to get so let's see I'm going to have 4 on 9 plus the parallel connection of what? 22 on 3 times 32 on 3 all over 22 on 3 plus 32 on 3 so what am I getting for that? 22 on 3 times 32 on 3 over 22 on 3 plus 32 on 3 so that is equal to 352 over 81 
So I'm going to have 4 on my plus 352 over 81. So plus 4 on 9. And I'm going to get 388 over 81 ohms. So 388 over 81 ohms is also equal to 4.79 sorry 4.79 ohms so 4.79 ohms so once i get this 4.79 ohms i come to my knotting equivalent circuit where i have my knotting current being i n going into my knotting resistance into the resistor itself which was 10 ohms this one is 4.79 ohms then my i is what i saw it is 0.052 from the top 0.052 so 0.052 over 0 0.052 and this current i'm going to use current division so to find the current through the 10 ohm i is simply this one 4.79 over 4.79 plus 10 times what 2.052 so let's solve this 4.79 over 4.79 plus 10 times 0 0.052 and that is giving me 0 0.0168 so once I get this, this is what I'm doing. and this is the current through 10 ohm using nothing's current. Thank you for joining me in this video. Please kindly subscribe and share your support.